A future LNP state government would be urged to introduce laws banning children under 10 wearing hijabs at state schools. Delegates at the party's annual conference today voted to support the controversial move. Political parties take their lead from grassroots members, but unlike front bench MPs... These guys are really obedient. You can sit down now. Thank you. <laughs> the party faithful don't always do what they're told, with one branch wanting to ban children under 10 wearing hijabs in state schools. Otherwise, within three years, there will be a Muslim uni uh, uniform in all state schools in Queensland. Not everyone agreed. We shouldn't even be having this discussion. They're also talking about um, how children should, what children should wear in schools. That is the dark ages. When it was put to the vote, the majority of LNP delegates supported the move. That's carried. Motions to ban the burqa and suspend immigration from 13 countries that practice Sharia law were voted down, but the debate served to overshadow the keynote address by opposition leader Tim Nichols. He is ready. He has never been more than ready. Mr Nichols telling the faithful what they wanted to hear. There will be no deal with One Nation. There will be no shared ministry and no coalition. However, One Nation deals will be allowed on a seat-by-seat -seat basis. Together, let us all build a better Queensland. And Patrick, the Labor Party returns fire in a fortnight. Uh, yes, that's right, Kay, in Townsville, no less, which serves to underline the polling problems that the Palaszczuk government are really experiencing in the far north. There are several seats in that part of the world that are really causing a headache for the Premier. So it's off to Townsville for the Labor Party faithful, the latest in a long list of jaunts into the far north. The election, of course, isn't due until January next year, but it's widely tipped that the Premier will fire the starting gun in November. Thank you, Patrick Condren.